Well, welcome to another edition of Transform Lives. We're continuing on our series that we started, Your Offering Speaks For You. You know, in the world, there's a, a saying in the secular realm, uh, money talks. Well, your offering will speak for you as well. You know, the Bible says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever would believe in him would not perish, but would have everlasting life. And so what happened was God's offering of Jesus spoke for him that he truly does love us. God is a God of love. And so what happens, your offerings do speak for you. We're going to look at uh, 2 Corinthians in the ninth chapter, and the Bible talks about giving. And it says, uh, verse 6, he says, But this I say unto you, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap bountifully. Now, what does he mean by sowing sparingly just a little bit and sowing bountifully, sowing a, a, a large amount? Now, it's not necessarily a dollar amount. What it is is out of what you originally had. You know, the widow, we discussed that in part two, the widow in the Bible when there's an offering going on in the temple and Jesus was sitting near the offering receptacle, he was watching the people put their things in. And so the rich men were putting in bags of money. They were doing what they were supposed to do. According to 1 Corinthians, the 16th chapter, the first and second verse, uh, you're supposed to give as God has prospered you. You know, here in America, often we just give as, as we have indebted ourselves but they were giving as they were supposed to they were giving as God had prospered them and then a widow came and she was a poor widow and the Bible says that she put in two mites and the Bible says that Jesus called his disciples to himself and he had a teaching moment he said she's given more than them all because she's given all that she had and so when we look at a bountiful giving and we look at sparingly giving what God is looking at he's looking at what you have and what what you have um what you what your resources are so out of the resources that you have she was giving bountiful giving that's the same principle in sowing sparingly sowing bountifully so out of what your resources are the bible says if you sow sparingly just a little tip something you really don't notice he says that's how you're going to reap reap means receive that's how you're going to receive back from him sparingly little tip something you really won't re uh, even notice but he said whosoever giveth bountifully or soweth that means gives bountifully. That's how you're going to reap back or receive back from the Lord bountifully. Not, not according to your bounty, but according to his. So if you give bountifully out of whatever your resources are, well, then the Bible says that God will give back to you bountifully. Then it goes on verse 7. It says, every man according as he has purposed in his heart, so let him give for uh, not grudgingly, or out of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. Now, when you think about it, you ever had a birthday party? Now, you ever had a birthday party and when it was time when people were giving you gifts and then somebody just threw a gift at you, here, take it, and you knew from the expression on their face they really didn't want to give you that gift? You wouldn't even want that gift. And see, that's how God looks at when it's time to give him an offering. He wants us to give it cheerfully, not like we really don't want to give it. He wants us to give it out of a heart of gratitude, a heart of appreciation, a heart of thanksgiving, a heart of love for all the things that he has done for us. And then he goes on. And God is able to make uh, all grace abound towards you, that ye always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. And so God says through your giving, it's going to cause you what? To abound to all good things and having all sufficiency, not only in finances, sometimes there are some other areas in which you really need the help of God. But through your giving, you'll have what? All sufficiency in all area abounding towards you verse 9 and as it is written he has dispersed abroad he has given to the poor his righteousness remaineth forever and so as born again believers we should have our father's nature and god is a giver so we have his nature so we should be giving as well and then he goes on verse 9 now he that ministered seed to the sower god is the one that gives us seed to sow he both ministered bread for our food he takes care of us he provides food for us to eat and he multiplies our seed sown so when we sow seed into the kingdom of god what god does he multiplies that seed and he returns it back to us so it's not only the the financial benefit the financial blessing from sowing seed or giving money into the kingdom of god but then it goes on and it states 
and he increases the fruit of your righteousness. So your giving is a good work. The Bible tells us in the book of uh, Matthew, let your light show, so shine before men that they may glorify, see your good works and glorify your father, which is in heaven. So your giving is a good work. And God says it what? It's your righteous, it, it, it increases the fruit of your righteousness when you sow into the kingdom of God. Verse 11, being enriched in everything to all bountifulness, which causes through us thanksgiving to God. And so it says, when you give the fruit of the work, the fruit of what you're doing causes people to thank God for his goodness because of your giving. Verse 12, for the ministration of this service, what service? The service of giving not only supplies the one of the saints, uh, it also not only helps other saints, other people that you're giving to, but it is abundant also by the many thanksgiving unto God. When we as Christians, when we give to other people, it, our offerings speak for us and it causes people to open up their mouth and to thank God for his goodness. You've been watching Transform Lives television broadcast with Pastor Sol Stavaris, pastor of Transformation Christian Church and World Outreach Center in St. Louis, Missouri. If you would like to hear more teaching from Pastor Sol Stavaris, you can call Transformation Christian Bookstore, your source for books that transform at area code 314 535-0555. If you live outside the St. Louis area, you can call us toll free at 1-877-U-CHANGE. Again, that toll free number now is 1-877-U-CHANGE. Transformation Christian Church and World Outreach Center is located at 4140 Page Boulevard in the great city of St. Louis, Missouri. On behalf of Pastor Basolos J. Barris and the entire Transformation Christian Church family, we want to thank you for watching today and allowing us to be a tool of transformation in your life. Now remember, only you can make this a great, great day by meditating on God's transforming word. But when you become a doer of God's word and not a hearer only, then God will truly bless you. Have a blessed day, everyone.